Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's a really quick video on enabling FTP access on your RetroPie. It'll make transferring games to that device far simpler than using a USB stick. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go into our configuration. I'm gonna go down to the Raspberry Pi config. After that launches, I'm gonna go down to interfacing options. Once in that sub menu, I'm gonna go ahead and select P2 SSH. It's gonna ask me if I wanna enable the server. I'm gonna say yes. And I got a confirmation. I'm gonna go down to finish. All right, now that we got the server enabled, we wanna go ahead and find out what our IP address is so we can connect to it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is make sure our Wi-Fi is enabled. So from the menu, I'm gonna select Wi-Fi. Our first option is to connect to the Wi-Fi network, so go ahead and select that. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and find your wireless network. After selected, it's gonna ask you to enter the password, so go ahead and do that and select OK. Once I successfully connected to my router, it's gonna bring me back to the main screen and it'll give me my IP address at the top. Now we need to download an FTP client to connect to our RetroPie and transfer some games. Okay, to connect to your RetroPie, you're gonna to wanna to download a program called WinSCP. I'll put a link to that program in the description. Once you've downloaded that and installed it, so we're gonna go ahead and open up WinSCP. You'll notice I have my other RetroPie already set up on here. We need to set up this one, as I assume you need to set up a new device. Okay, the file protocol will be SCP. The host name will be our IP address. Port number you can leave at the default. The default username will be Pi. And password will be Raspberry. Okay, once that is entered, we're going to log in. Just go ahead and say update. Okay, on the right hand side, you'll see I'm now connected to my RetroPie. I'm gonna go into RetroPie, ROMs. You'll notice here's the names of all of the emulators that we have on our device. For our purposes today, I think I'm just gonna transfer a few Super Nintendo games. Yeah, you'll see on the left hand side, I have my Super Nintendo folder. Um, let's dive in here. Now, on the right hand side, I'm in my RetroPie, ROMs, Super Nintendo folder. So I'll just go ahead and flag a few of these and say upload. And that's it. Once you've finished uploading your ROMs to your RetroPie, all you need to do is disconnect and then restart emulation station and you're good to go. And that's it for today's video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video if you found it useful. Subscribe for more retro video gaming fun, and I'll see you all next time.